Welcome and good morning. So glad you're with us here on this Sunday, June 28th. And after a rainy Saturday, will we see a dry Sunday to close out our weekend here in central New York? We will get to Violet in just a second, but first check this out right here. This video was from around 915 last night on the News Channel 2 tower cam. You can see this dark cloud over the city of Utica and meteorologist Violet Skyber at the time was tracking a storm system moving through our region in Violet. Quite the uh, clouds uh, there last night and even a lot of lightning afterwards. Yeah, exactly. And the reason why it looked so round like that is we think it may have been rotating. We got a photo from the opposite side of the storm that showed in what's called an inflow notch. So basically rising air that's moving into this thunderstorm. But it looks like it's rotating because you can see this tube here across the screen as that air is being sucked into the storm. It's turning. So it was a very small storm and it didn't pose a threat to anyone, but pretty cool stuff. A small storm like this was able to produce something pretty incredible like this. And this was sent to us by Lacey Curtis. So right now across the region, we had a couple of uh, areas in the valley seeing some patchy fog, but most of that has lifted and we're going to see some peaks of sunshine as we head throughout today. We also still have a few lingering thunderstorms out there, one in Old Forge, another one just moved east of Little Falls, and most of the thunderstorm activity that we're going to see today is actually going to be later this morning and early this afternoon. Most of it ends as we head towards this evening. However, we still have the chance for some of those to be severe, mainly for Herkimer and Odd Seago counties and pushing east towards Albany where they have that slight yellow risk. The main threat is going to be high winds, but again, all the thunderstorms we see aren't going to be severe. If you did want to go fishing today, not the best weather to do so, but if you wanted to go probably this morning at 820 AM. So again, starting off with some fog this morning, then the chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two as we had into late this morning and early this afternoon, highs reach the lower 80s. And this thunderstorm threat looks to continue as we head throughout your work week. I'll have all the details coming up. Back to you. Violet.